Well, once again, I'm out there making it another great day, and today I'm in Reddington Shores, which is right between Madeira Beach and Indian Rocks Beach over here near Clearwater. And today I'm going to try out a new place that's been here about 10 months. It's called Broken Board Grill. I'm not broke, and I'm definitely not bored, but I am hungry, and I think it's, it doesn't mean that kind of board, but uh, it's broken surfboard there. Uh, kind of creative. Um, and I checked their menu out online, and, and they're all across the board, so to speak, uh, because you can come here on one spot and get barbecue, seafood, burgers, tacos, um, just a little bit of something for everybody. And they even had an Elvis sandwich down on the dessert menu with the peanut butter, banana, and jelly. And um, um, I think they said they have a Oreo churro. I'm not sure if I'm going to have room for any of that. But I'm here because they have fried green tomatoes on their appetizers. They had a nice looking uh, list of appetizers um, on the menu. And uh, we're going to go try it out. It's a locally owned business. And that's coming at you right now. I am getting ready to walk inside of the Broken Board Grill right here in Reddington Shores and they have a little outdoor patio area. I do like their outdoor patio area here and it's all decked out with, uh, says Daytona, Sand Key, you know, kind of the directional uh, signs you would see in a beach community and there's some hula hoops here as well. I just discovered this here in their patio area and this is a kind of neat little lantern looking light. Uh, hanging from the tree up here amidst all of this and a uh, nice little patio area that you can eat outside if it's a nice cool evening but we're going to go inside and see if we can't get something good to eat especially some fried green tomatoes and there's a surfboard here on the side of the building as well well i am just inside of the broken board grill here at reddington shores they have a shark up here on the wall <laughs> and the door as you come in i've talked to the owner and I'm sitting here at the bar and I ordered some fried green tomatoes. Here is the menu at the Broken Board Grill. They have a large selection of appetizers and what caught my eye was them fried green tomatoes that you just don't see. They have salads and they have entrees, everything from seafood to burgers to steaks. Um, just a little bit of everything. They even have pasta meals as well. And they have a bunch of baskets that you can get. Uh, smoked chicken salad there. They have a hogfish sandwich. I got the gnarly burger. And uh, they have even hot dogs here. And they even have um, tubular tacos. And they tell me that all these different items are available for lunch and for dinner. They have brought my appetizer out here and not too many places have fried green tomatoes, but they have some fried green tomatoes. This is a lot of fried green tomatoes here for sure. This is uh, inside a broken board and there's a surfboard up here with like a, so like a tiki hut and they do have specials. There's an octopus painted on the wall there. They waste absolutely no time here at the broken board grill here in Reddington Shores. I've been eating into one of these fried green tomatoes and they are hot and they are fresh. It's kind of like a pink sauce there with it. And they have already brought out my gnarly burger. And this looks pretty darn good, this gnarly burger. Look at that. And you got, I got everything on this thing and it looks really good. I hope I can eat all of this. And I got something I want to try. It's called pineapple coleslaw. And that sounds, that sounds different. I've just noticed there's a big surfboard of a Hawaiian lei right above the bar here. And I'm sitting at the bar. Well, I did taste this pineapple coleslaw, which I've never heard of pineapple coleslaw before, but it's not overwhelming with the pineapple. It's got a hint of the pineapple in the sauce. It's very good. I have to show this burger. This is, I've had some burgers this one really looks good. I mean, this looks like something you would get at a national chain, but it's a local 
local restaurant here. They've been here about 10 months, the owner tells me. And uh, I'm going to try this right now. Mm -mm -mm. Now here is something I found you don't find at all restaurants. Paper straws. No plastic. I love paper straws. The sauce for the fried green tomatoes is a pink peppercorn ranch. And it is tasty. Normally you get the horseradish with them. I'm going to eat two or three of these. And there's a bunch of these uh, in this appetizer. Well, I have to admit, I am getting full. I'm almost done with this sandwich. And um, I've got about three or four of the fried green tomatoes left, so um, I'm sure if I'm going to be able to finish it all. We're going to try. Well, I highly enjoyed the meal here at the uh, Broken Board Grill right here in Reddington Shores. Uh, next time you're coming down here to the beach in Clearwater, come over here to this little locally owned restaurant where you can get a whole bunch of different items all in one location. You got somebody who wants barbecue. You don't have to go to just a barbecue place. You can come here and get the barbecue because they had ribs and barbecued sandwiches. And then they also have the burgers here. If you got somebody in the crowd that wants burgers, so you're not running all over town. You can get it all in one spot. I mean, I was amazed. You know, tacos as well, and even Italian pasta meals. Uh, and they do fresh, fresh fish and stuff here. Fresh catch the other day, I guess. Uh, I seen a lot of it online before I came here, but the um, fried green tomatoes was top notch. Those were good. I could not eat them all, and I had to bring uh, three of them back with me. But uh, uh, that pink peppercorn ranch dipping sauce was really the bomb. Um, uh, I've had fried green tomatoes many places. They were very hot, <laughs> and uh, uh, the my server she said well it's better that they are hot than cold you can always uh, always get them cold but you can't get them hot uh, I guess if you heat them back up though they're very super friendly in here appreciate the owner talking to me and stuff and um, they've been here about 10 months come check them out check out their link in the description be sure to check that out uh, I, I was impressed with their menu and uh, I, I like what they got going on with their patio and the decor they have. It's it's a small little place, but it's definitely worth coming over here and uh, having lunch or dinner. And what's nice is uh, their lunch, uh, everything on the menu is available all, the whole time they're open. So that's a big plus. And um, I wish I could have been able to try the Oreo churros. That sounded really good. Oreo churros. But, uh, they had a really nice menu. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it remember to keep going out there and um, supporting your local businesses and your local restaurants if you are a local business and you are a local restaurant and you'd like me to come and review your restaurant uh, free of charge get a hold of me I'll come down I'll pay for my meal I you know that's fine um, an on-camera interview I like those that tells me a little bit more about the place lets everybody know what's going on and uh, uh, people watching and uh, helps it helps the video but uh, that's not always necessary but I like these little unique places like this and we're gonna keep going and finding more and more and keep going out there like I do as best you can and make it a great day because you deserve it <laughs>